Hi, and thanks for checking out Team GAN. We're going to do a quick overview to show you just how simple and easy it is to use Team Gantt to effectively manage your projects online. Team Gantt is centered around a Gantt chart view that allows you to see your project's timeline. You can see groups are indicated by the blue bars and tasks are indicated by the green bars. You can easily reschedule your tasks by simply dragging and dropping them. You can also resize your tasks. You can adjust the view of your Gantt chart to a month view or zoom out even more. We'll go back to the day view. We'll also show you how to add tasks. You can just click on the add task, type in the task name, hit enter, and you'll see your new task is created. A bar is automatically added to your Gantt chart and you can resize it to fit where you like it. You can also update the percent complete of your task. This is very helpful for tracking progress of your project. You can click Menu, Edit Task, and Update the Percent Complete. We'll update this to 100% and click Save. And you'll see your project has been updated and your task is now completely full indicating it is 100% complete. You can get the same thing by double clicking a task. We'll update this one as well. Another great feature of Team Gantt is dependencies. Dependencies are indicated by the gray bars connecting the tasks. This is great because if you need to reschedule your tasks, you can move tasks together as a group. To add dependency, just click Menu, Add Dependency, and select a task that is dependent upon the task you originally selected. You can see that these two tasks are now linked. We'll add a few more. See, we just linked all these tasks together. It's very simple. You can also add groups. And you can add milestones. Another great feature of Team Gantt is resources. You can use resources to assign people or teams to tasks. To do this, simply click Add Resource and select the resource. Anybody that you've invited to your project is automatically added to a resource. You can also add more resources. Now you can add that resource. The great thing about this is you can now go to the resources menu and view tasks for any particular resources. So if I want to view just my tasks, I can click on my name, and now I can see only the tasks that I'm responsible for. This is very helpful when you have large Gantt charts and you want to be able to simplify it and view just the things that you're responsible for. You can also view tasks that others are responsible for as well. To invite other users to your Gantt chart, you can simply click on Manage Users, and you can type in their name and their email address, and whether they are an admin, whether they can edit, or they can view only. Team Gantt remembers people that you've added to your Gantt charts, and you can also just simply click their name to invite them to your current Gantt chart. Thanks a lot for watching this quick overview video. We encourage you to sign up and give Team Gantt a try. When your whole team has constant access to your project's Gantt chart, 
everyone can stay on the same page for project deadlines and timeframes. Each person can see exactly what they are responsible for, and everyone can update their percent complete on each of their tasks, allowing for your Gantt chart to always be up to date. We encourage you to take a few moments and try out Team Gantt for one of your projects. It's so easy and so effective that you'll never want to manage a project without it.